Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I have a plan with me featuring this adorable Leonard Designs kit. Um, I believe it's called 2024 and it was a collab with Planner Pixie Co. So both of the shops released this exclusive art. I loved how Lynn did it per usual, so I got Lynn's, and I also loved her matching foil bundle that she created. It has like disco balls and the bows, like within the bow print and disco underlays, and I got it in shattered pink, which was one of her recommended foil pairings, which if you didn't like already know and watch Leonard Design's um, YouTube channel and for her like new release videos she does foil pairings and she'll give you like at least three to like five different foil pairings from her shop that she thinks would go good with that kit and it is so extremely helpful um, just because I don't know my foils like as well and I could sit there on the website on like Instagram or swatches and try, but having just like somebody who knows the foils so well, just be able to be like, yep, this is, this is the perfect pair. I'm like, thank you for doing that for me. <laughs> so I always appreciate it. And I always take whatever she says and pick one of those options. I decided to be kind of daring. And even though I'm not a pink girly, the shattered pink was kind of calling my name. I just thought it was fun. And I like I'm obsessed with how it turned out. I also paired it with navy solid underlays from Playing With Me stickers. Um, but now Leonard Designs does offer solid underlays. Um, so just, just putting that out there. However, her shop is closed for most of January as she's on vacation. But both of those shops I do PR for and highly recommend you checking them out if you have not already. So I'll have all the like coupon codes down below. Um, I did pair in like I said, the foil bundle from Leonard Designs. And then I brought in a couple quotes from Plan With Me stickers that I got as a freebie in one of my orders. And they were just kind of like New Year's in gold hollow. And I just thought they worked perfectly. So um, I have never, ever done a New Year's um, like spread. I just don't celebrate New Year's. And this year, definitely didn't celebrate New Year's. We were sick on New Year's and I did not even make it to mid, like not even close to midnight, like not even New York midnight. Um, <laughs> it was just sad, but that is okay. I still am glad that I used this kit, even though I did nothing to celebrate. I, um still love this art and think that it's a week worth celebrating because coming back to school we that's like coming back after winter break is just rough it's just rough and the kids literally forget everything it's like hitting reset but I had such a great week with my class and that was amazing because now it's the next week and I can tell you that honeymoon phase is over and I am just like thinking back to last week and I'm like that's exactly what I needed. I needed that super good week with my class. I needed to get back on my game and I was like leaving work early most times or well, I shouldn't say early. Early means on time in my books and one of the nights I even came home before it was dark just barely, but I was like jumping with excitement. I don't think I realized how much like working late every single day and just being so drowned like affected my mood. I knew it affected my mood, obviously, because um, I was drowning, but um, kind of being on the other side of it in this phase, it obviously comes in ebbs and flows, but being on the side of it right now where I'm feeling on top of things and feeling in a good spot, I'm like, whew, I can breathe and it feels good. So yeah, um, that's just, you know, a reminder, if you are not in that phase right now with your work or personal life or whatever, um, just make it, just keep pushing. It's hard and just know you're not alone. <laughs> and um, yeah, when you can get to the other side, it feels just like a breath of fresh air. Um, all right. This week, like I said, was come back to work week. On Monday, we were still in Arizona. No, that's the day we flew out, but our flight wasn't until later. Um, so we just kind of like hung out. We 
trying to think of what else we did. We just kind of like, yeah, I literally think we were all still sick. My parents and my husband and I, we were all like staying in a house together. And then we, um, we were able to rally, fly home. On the flight home, I literally read the whole time. I got the Kindle Unlimited subscription. I tried, it was like one month for free or three months for 99 cents. And I'm like, well, let's do three months. Um, Honestly, it's been the best 99 cents that I've spent because I read over five books over break and I'm already on my second one since coming back from school. I literally on Saturday spent the whole day reading a book and I am not like, this is just mind blowing to me because I am not a reader at all. And up until about a year ago, I didn't even listen to audiobooks. So it was like, I'm not even at my one year of having my Libby app. And I don't know if I've already talked about this stat because I cannot remember what I have voiced over it and what I have not. But um, so if this is repeating, I apologize. But I counted and I listened to over... I think it was, I think my final number at the end of the year was 107 books. And keep in mind, like I started it towards the end of January. So in 2023, I listened to 107 books. Like that is (laughs) comical. And then I read, I think like end of the year with like 12 or 13. Now I feel like I have talked about this. I'm like not trying to brag at all, but um (laughs) it's just still mind-blowing to me and the fact that I would spend like a whole Saturday reading if you would have told past self I would have been like you're joking (laughs) um but it's just funny as you get older like I never thought I'd have a dog never thought I'd spend the day reading um there's a lot of things that I never thought that I would do but things changed and interests changed so let me know. Are you a reader? Like, I feel like the planning community is really big into reading, but like, have you always been a reader? Um, like, what do you, what's your, what's your stance on that? Um, but I feel like it has been really good for me and just like my mind to just have that programmed in downtime. And I'm not just watching things because I'm not really feeling like anything on tv so also let me know if there's anything good that i'm missing out on tv my husband and i did start this week the new percy jackson series from the disney plus um app and it's totally you know like a teenage kid show but we remember reading and reading those books as kids so it's fun and it's lighthearted, and we're kind of like missing lighthearted shows so yeah that's been a good fun one from this week And then, um, trying to think of what else happened this week. This week, we also got together with my brother-in-law and his new girlfriend. He, like, recently got a girlfriend within the past month. And she has been at family Christmas. And we've seen her, like, every single week. They are attached at the hip. And it is funny because I have not, like, I have two older brothers. One of them is married. And then my husband has his younger brother who's, you know, not that young. He's just a couple years younger than us. But in the span of my husband and I being together, which has been almost like, we're almost at 10 years for like dating and then marriage. And like we have not had a sibling date or anything because my brother has been married and my other brother just like does not date. And I have not met a sibling significant other. And then his brother has not dated like this whole time. And we like have not met a sibling significant other since my brother met, like I met his wife. And that was when I was 12. So I was so nervous (laughs) to meet my brother-in-law's girlfriend. I was like, oh my goodness, like I've never met a significant other for a sibling. And I don't know, she ended up being, you know, super chill and it was all good and dandy. Um, But I just thought like that feeling, if you have siblings and they've, like you've met their significant other, you maybe understand the same feeling or maybe I'm just the weird person, but I don't know why there was like a lot of (laughs) 
a lot of emotions towards that. And it's like totally fine and chill. But that's kind of been like a fun new thing, a new thing for the family, keeping it fresh. Um, and then I'm trying to think of what else happened this week. I really don't think there was too much. Going back into school was um, so good, but yeah, it's also hard. Um, yeah, so I think maybe I'll do a couple questions. Maybe actually, you know what? Let's talk about New Year's. What do you do for New Year's? Typically, we play games. So like this this kit is right up my alley. We typically just like whoever we're with, we just play games with. It's just always chill. And we stay up till midnight, maybe, but like no pressure. And um, yeah, we like to play, like my family likes to play Rummy Cube and Quirkle and Sky Joe. My parents have been really, really into that, like lighthearted kind of easy conversation games. When I was little, we used to play a lot of Chicken Foot or Mexican Train, very similar. Um... And then my husband's family plays a lot of different, like, different card type games. And, yeah, so let me know if your family has any New Year's traditions. I feel like mine are really lame. Um, We'll typically watch all the New York, like, shows or whatever, um, seeing the ball drop and whatnot, which is just wild. Like, to think about the people who show up in Times Square at like so early in the morning and then they wear diapers to watch the ball drop is just mind-blowing and the people who don't like that's just wild um that to me like I know that that is on some people's bucket list to be like oh watch the ball drop in New York City Times Square and like that no not on my list at all I want to do nothing. I no, do not want to leave my house on New Year's and especially be in a crowded place. I remember one year in college, we went to downtown Seattle and watched like the Space Needle and that was cool. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is so magical. And then I'm like, mm, yeah, no, I could pass. So <laughs> um, yeah, let me know. I clearly have very strong opinions and I am very much a homebody. Um, but that's just me. You can see the underlay is starting to come together and they just look mm, so magical. I am so happy with how they turned out. The navy is kind of looking like black right now, but definitely navy. All right, I got interrupted, but I'm back. Anyways, I was just going to say, um, the other New Year's question that I had is, do you all make New Year's resolutions or do you pick like a word for the year or intentions? I think that was Cafe with Anna. She used the word intentions and I'm like, I really like that. Um, I am not a goal setter. I never really have been and never, I don't know. I'm just like so bad at all that. So I should say never, but that's just currently, currently not my thing. Um, but let me know, are you that kind of person? I have picked a year or picked a word for the year. I have done that and nothing really sticks, but, um, I am excited to see what the new year has in store and I hope you enjoyed this base. Let's skip to the end. Here is my finished spread. I love how this turned out and yeah, I feel like I recapped the week already i took down my christmas decorations which feels so good and it was just you know good week back i am really excited to start out the year 2024 with this spread i feel like it's just starting the year off with a bang and i am excited so thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye everyone